Hey guys, welcome to Dev Space. In this video, we will learn how to create a shopping cart functionality for a website with the Alpine JS and using the local storage. We have two kinds of storage: the session storage, which will be cleared or removed the data from uh, on the uh, web closing of the browser. But we have local storage as well, which will not be um, cleared or remove the data from when you close the tab uh, the tab that you have opened so it will remain there and for setting up the alpine js uh, we uh, i'll put the link in the description and as well as the layout that uh, which we have on the screen is designed with the challenge css and uh, i have the link for the tutorial I'll put in the description uh, with that all said uh, let's uh, try to begin this data that we have here all are static and when we, when I click on this card button nothing uh, happens actually uh, and this shopping cart is also uh, static the data is static and I'll remove this data and we'll try to uh, add the items here I add these items to the card and they should appear on the right sidebar okay so let's go here uh, the first portion here is our main items which we have uh, on the layout as well and the second part is the card sidebar which we have there and the four items uh, which is including the four items so, so for the uh, and the first thing should be we have to declare uh, some uh, alpine js directives which are almost the basements and the basics of the alpine uh, for that we have the X data, the very efficient uh, directive of Alpine JS. Here uh, we will use the object type, and that is according to the Alpine JS syntax. We will just uh, create a, an array which should contain all the objects and all the uh, items of uh, our car. And uh, actually, the array should must we must retrieve this array from uh, the local storage. So I'll just use the uh, JSON dot parse and for the parse local storage uh, dot get item. Okay, which item? Car. Okay, still we don't have the card inside uh, the local storage, but I'll add it and uh, Let's say this one is done the next thing uh, we should uh, We should declare or create an, a function add to card uh, Which I'll use or call from the card buttons and by clicking on each card button this function must be invoked and when we invoke or call this one we should pass the product object and the product object uh, should be sent to the uh, local storage so for that i'll just use something like this uh, this dot card dot push so the card is an array uh, we'll push the product that we just received from the card button and after pushing that again we will change the card into a, a json or we can say json object here yeah. json dot stringify what should we stringify the card this dot card and put it inside the local storage how to put it inside the local storage we can just say local storage dot set item dot uh, okay not dot here set item which item should we set actually this is the item and before putting it it is uh, it will just take two values the first one is the title or the key and the second must be that our text or array or whatever we have so this is fine uh, simply this <coughs> is all inside the x data directly now we will define the button behavior on each item here is the first item and we have the button here and we will define the uh, actually the 
behavior let's say at click it is a, again a directive from the alpine js and when we click on this button card button what should happen we have to define inside it simply add to card uh, method or function should be card and inside that we'll put the uh, object of our uh, product and that is having the for now just let's use the two specification the image one uh, which is image which image this one the image of the product and the second one the title of the product because i'm just doing it everything uh statically because we don't have database yet this one is okay so when we click on this uh card button it will just uh, call this add to card button from the x data directive and put these things inside the card after that it will again convert it to the uh, local uh, put it inside the local storage let's take uh, check whether it does or not refreshing again going to the inspect let's check for our application and here let me clear it everything is clear we have nothing inside our this one so when i click on this first card button something should happen yeah it is happening but we have some kind of error add to card if it is saying that cannot read properties of uh, reading proof okay that is because our card is not an array so that is why it is for the first time let me just put it the array sign here and after putting that inside the array uh, let let's let's retrieve it again card is equal to uh, let's just do it something like this control x and then put the card again after that card is equal to so whatever we retrieve from json report put it inside the card let's refresh it okay no error still and nothing so when we click on this card no error yeah uh, one item is added inside our card so for the very first one everything is okay now we will just uh, extend the functionality to the second third and fourth button as well so for that i will just copy this button section from here and paste it instead of this one here and just changing the source copy it and paste it here let's change the name to bird it is the second item so i will do for the rest two items in the background okay done for the four items now let's just try it here still we have not worked with this sidebar uh, card sidebar so we don't expect that that's why i'm just opening the local storage here let's clear it okay refresh here again and click on this card refresh here yeah we got the first one if we click on the second one and let's refresh here we got the second one as well which is bird let's click on the fourth one and when we refresh here yeah, we got the fourth one as well which is check everything is working fine and we have the data on in our local storage now it is time to get the data from the local storage and uh, show it on this uh, right sidebar so here we have the right sidebar down here i'll i'll remove this uh, three extra and just uh, uh, put this one here we have to loop through the data that we re, uh, retrieve from the local storage so for that in alpine js we have to use the template tag uh, which is a custom uh, tag and we need to use it so for that the x4 directive of alpine js and inside that let's say item in uh, where in the uh, we can use the card as well which is the array above in the x data directive or uh, just directly get from the uh, local storage so for that we will use just a 
local sorry json dot parse and get the data from the local storage dot get item which item the car item so it is an error that is very clear so it will uh, loop through that and so now let's refresh here yeah we have three because previously we added just three and now if i add the butterfly as well so we will have the fourth one also here refresh now one i don't know why one let's check inside the application local storage card yeah it is only one that butterfly let's say add the albert as well this one the bird and the chick yeah we got all three and if we refresh we have the four one four here uh if we add it to the card we get the name and the picture box we can just instead of this we can use the card as well which is an array above there so when we add something to the card we get the item here yeah we have four items and still we have not updated the image so for that uh, for updating the image section we have to put the image url from the item array which is like image and by the way we have to like bind it because it is looping through an array and that is the rule uh, why i'm using the image because we just put it to card the image key here and for the name we can remove here and use the x text directive of alpine js and here item dot title i save it and refresh it here if we add it to the card we get the name and the picture box so it was very uh, simple it's still it is very basic and just to give you an idea how to get the image from the local storage and how to get the data from local storage uh here is not complete but this is uh, i think this is enough for this video if you have any question kindly uh, put it in the comment section thank you very much